Okay, here's a tutorial and uh, it's a follow-up of the web buttons for you know well, that was done in Corel Draw and then say you wanted to use it for your website so here's an example of a web button here um, we've done this in the last tutorial and what we're gonna do here so I had a request saying okay how would I then uh, well what is the best format in how to export this for a web web graphics for a website so uh, the the first thing we have to do is we're going to put a box on this one as close as to the as close I mean don't make it touch the the figure but we're just going to make a box to enclose it into a uh, to enclose the image into a box and then what we're gonna do here is we're going to there's an outline and what we're gonna do we're going to remove the outline so no fill in the outline okay but technically speaking it's still there okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate the whole thing okay well make sure you're selecting also that the outline that we did without uh, uh, it's like a transparent outline a box okay so you plus sign in your keyboard and you move it over this side okay and if you want to check you go to view simple wireframe okay this box should be in there because that's the box that we just created okay then we go to view enhance view okay now I did a two versions because I want this to be a rollover okay a rollover is when you mouse over to a button now it changes the image changes properties of the image that you make sometimes make it darker some lighter so what we're gonna do we're going to make this uh, a different color so I'm gonna select the green so that's the green okay if you can't select object you click uh, hold on alter until you get the object so that's the one that I wanted and then I'll make that say darker green there okay so what happens if they mouse over to this button here it changes the color okay now I'm ready to export this uh, graphics for a web application okay so now I'm going to select this one okay make sure I'm selecting also the the transparent box that I did and then I would go to file and go to export now in export there are there are options for JPEG or uh, you can also use PNG but what I'm gonna do I'm going to use JPEG because we had some if you look at the we have the gradient we have got the reflection so JPEG is best for that so I'm gonna put here okay so I'll just put here um, icon 1 okay uh, so that's JPEG and then I'll make sure that this is checked means to say the only the, the only thing that the only image that's going to be exported as a JPEG is the one that I selected which is you know the first button and then I click on export so when you click on export I want you to make the resolution 72 dpi because that's the standard for screen resolution so 72 dpi and then if this one is in inches make it in pixels now in pixels say you want to set your pixel size to let's say 50 pixels okay make sure that this is locked so 7 7 that's fine say if I make this 60 okay so these two numbers should be the same because we're we're make sure this maintain aspect ratio is also checked so my width of the button I'll make it 45 okay 45 pixels wide and then I'll just everything's fine and then click OK here okay and then there's a preview of what you're getting so that's what the actual size of the button that you're getting so if you're happy with that then you click OK okay so that's my icon one now we're going to do the rollover so I want you to select this one make sure that the transparent outline box is selected and then you go file export and export to JPEG still JPEG and I'll make it icon 2 
and then click on export make sure it's selected only because that's the only one that we want to select and this one's go uh, make it 72 dpi because we're making it for the web and this one make it the same as the first one we put that as 45 okay make sure maintain aspect ratio is checked and click OK and that's the preview of it if you're happy for that to click OK okay so now I am ready to go to my favorite editor okay my favorite editor is Macrovidia Dreamweaver which is this one here I'm gonna minimize this okay so I, I made a page ready this the only thing I have to insert is the image but I'm gonna insert a rollover image so I go to insert uh, image objects and rollover image okay so my first image was icon 1 and then my rollover image is icon 2 which is the darker icon and then I'll just put here icon and then I click OK okay so that is now the web button that we just created and if I'm gonna save this one and I'm going to preview it on the web the web browser I'll just see how it looks like okay now here is the actual web button in the browser so if I roll over see it changes changes so very nice so you really can relate Corel draw graphics into web graphics mouse over so that's it